Hey guys, my name is Lingi Litabete and I am the head makeup artist for Scarlet Hill Beauty. Today's video is one that is super special. We are officially introducing the Scarlet Hill 18 Pan Eyeshadow Palettes. They are so beautiful. The colors and the pigment is amazing. So we're going to be creating amazing eyeshadow looks today. Um, so yeah, do stay tuned. I wanted to speak on each palette um, just so you guys get a better understanding of what each palette is about. This is the Bejeweled palette and it has beautiful jewel tones that are just delicious. When I look at this palette, it really just reminds me of beautiful jewel tones. It, it just makes me think of royalty. Also, the pigment is very, very good. I'm just going to do a couple of swatches on my hand. I'm going to dip into this gold jewelry tone and just so you get an understanding of what the pigment looks like i think let's also dip into the blue as well just so you get an understanding of what the tone looks like and i'm gonna swatch it on my hand and that is what the blue pigment looks like super super gorgeous gorgeous tone and then I uh, wanted to speak on the Pink Sandstorm palette. This is a favorite just because I absolutely love pink tones on my eye. Um, so it has a huge variety of pink tones. It also has glitters as well, which is amazing for just getting um, variety in the eyeshadow looks that you do do. Um, so yeah, super, super gorgeous. Let me do a swatch of the pink glitter. How gorgeous, how gorgeous is that? Yay! I'm super excited about the look that we're gonna do today. I think I'm gonna do a combination of um, tones from both eyeshadow palettes. I really recommend that you guys go out and get these. They only retail for 150 bucks, super affordable, um, definitely worth the value. All right guys, so in creating today's beautiful eyeshadow look using both uh, the Bejeweled and Pink Sandstorm palettes. All right guys, so I'm gonna start off by using a transitioning shade. So I've already prepped and primed my eyelids and you want to make sure that you prep and prime your lids because that just helps you get more of an intensity on the eyeshadow um, so I'm going to start off by using the bejeweled palettes using the shade hold my crown now hold on hold on hold on hold my crown <laughs> all right guys so I'm also going to be dipping into this shade over here it's called amber rush and I'm just using it because I want to create a bit of dimension and uh, intensity and depth so also blend that in making sure that you blend it really well with the previous shade and then blending that in and then I'm going in with a slightly um, bigger brush and that's helping me get a good blended gradient okay guys so i'm also dipping into throne which is this beautiful deep chocolate tone and i'm just want to concentrate it into the outer corner of my lid just to also add more dimension I added it very very slightly and as you can see it's giving me a beautiful gradient so I started with the lighter tone then I added a bit more pigment with a slightly a slightly deeper tone of the same color and then now I'm going in with the own which is going to give me this beautiful just gradient of color so as you can see I'm packing it into the outer corner of my lid all right guys so now that i'm done creating a beautiful ombre of burnt orange brown tone i am going to be cutting the crease using these scarlet hill color correctors this this is the yellow color corrector i've just put it on the back of my hand to warm up the product i'm going to be using a flat brush and you just want to make sure that the product is slightly warmer so that it blends well onto the eyeshadow and so i'm going to be using the sand pink sandstorm palettes this these are the shades glitter inferno and dream chaser and these are the lids the shades that i am going to be using to pack onto where i have cut the crease you can also always use your hand to pack the product as well 
so once I'm all done tacking in the glitter over the color corrector then what you want to do is go back into the bejeweled palette and I'm just gonna be using the same shades that I was using to create this dimension on the side and I'm gonna be using the shades to create a beautiful blended effect so again I'm using the shades Royal Rebel and I'm just making sure that the jeweled effect blends in well with the eyeshadow that we had blended. All right, so once this eye is done, then we are gonna be doing the other eye. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm all done applying the glitter part of the eyeshadow look today, and it looks so bomb. It looks so good, super, super pigmented. Um, I love it. It blended so beautifully also with the eyeshadow as well that I had applied previously so we are on a brilliant track right now so what i want to do to finish off the eyeshadow look itself is basically carry the color that i had applied on the lid on my waterline just so that it's more cohesive and so i'm gonna go in with the bejeweled palette and with the shades that i had been applying particularly throne and royal rebel and what I want to do is just place this pigment on my waterline so that it looks like one cohesive look. Guys, I am so, so obsessed with these eyeshadow palettes and I can guarantee you that you will be too. The pigment is amazing. The eyeshadows themselves blend beautifully and they are just divine. If I, once the borders open up and I'm ready to go on holiday, you absolutely know which two eyeshadow palettes that I am going to be carrying in my kit. These, this is it. This is all I'm going to need. So let's finish up the look. We are just going to be popping on pencil eyeliner and then popping on lashes and we are all done for today's look. For lips, I'm just going to be going in with the Pucker Up Lip Gloss. It is going to be a clear gloss uh, to finish up the look because I don't want to take away from the eyeshadow look itself. So let's finish up this eyeshadow <laughs> all right guys that brings us to the end of today's video as you can see the makeup look it turned out amazing there is so much pigment absolutely love the glitter um just a quick overview of the palettes each retail for 149 Rand 99, which is a steal considering how beautiful the shadows are. Also a huge variety of uh, shadows in each palette. Uh, this is the Bejewel palette. Absolutely love both. I don't have a favorite because they're so good. Uh, I could literally get rid of all the palettes in my kit and just have these and be able to create amazing, amazing, amazing looks. So do get yourself these palettes um the eyeshadows themselves blend so beautifully as you saw during my application they blended seamlessly so yeah definite investment at this price point absolutely uh so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look i absolutely love it i think i'm gonna come up with something cute to do today because i feel like i can't leave this to waste right <laughs> comment down below let us know which one you are excited to try out and i'll see you guys in the next one also check out www.mrp.com to find out more on scarlet hill products and also if you want to have it delivered to you uh if you don't have a scarlet hill at your nearest mrp store and we'll see you in the next one i love you guys and keep safe <laughs>